What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So as you guys can see, I am layered up. I actually have a fitting session this morning and it is, today is, uh, where's my phone? May 17th and look at the temperature right now. I wanna make sure you guys can see this. That is temperature right now here in Montreal, Canada is four degrees with frost advisory and uh, some snowflakes. That's what we're dealing with on May 4th here in Canada. So went back to my cozy leather jacket, as you guys have seen this countless times. And you know what's funny? I get a lot of questions on Instagram, like why you keep wearing that jacket? Like wear something else. And I'm just like, bro, well, like, it's just so interesting sometimes how people think that you know, because you're like, you create fashion content or whatever, you always have to show new pieces. And I'm like, that that that, that beats the purpose of style. You know, a, a lot of the times it's about just adding into your wardrobe. So having pieces that you, you can continuously wear and just style in different ways, you know, like, and this um, taxi jacket here has done exactly that. You know, I purchased it in the winter and I've gotten so much way out of it because I, I always find different ways of styling it and it's just comfortable and easy to wear and i think like over the years my style has kind of been evolving into that into just statement pieces that i can continuously wear and just find different ways of styling them so i just want to encourage you guys man if you have a piece in your wardrobe don't ever feel like you're wearing it too much you know especially if it's a good product if it's a good piece wear it figure out different ways of styling it and continuously wear it no matter what anybody says. near the fitting session sorry hi i'm doing a little little vlog so i have on a couple pieces we've got the fear of god eternal bomber which at some point i was thinking of getting but i think i'll have to wait because i find the the, the fear of god pieces are quite pricey but ultimately that's that's his goal i think like it's probably one of the reasons why he created essentials because the fear of god pieces it's for a certain demographic i guess my client lou in the last vlog picked it up in the black holloway and it's it's an amazing bomber honestly and as well like with things like bomber it's they're always versatile you can, and then you can wear them throughout the seasons too like spring fall winter sometimes even summer before it starts getting too hot so really nice bomber and then this underneath it's this rick owens sort of turtleneck and i kind of i like this color a lot we have it in uh in uh in the shorts too but i really like this color and it's a breathable material very light material so it'll be a nice top to to layer with um and especially because i'm always looking to get more colors into my wardrobe because you guys know i like wearing all black so just having little pops of color here and there in my outfits would be really nice so rick owens and then the cargoes once again by rick owens as well these are amazing cargoes and then we have the boots again just a little bit of pop of color yeah that's outfit one
so uh, I just got to the cottage for the weekend, which I am super excited about. It took us a minute to find this place. It's about an hour and 45 minutes away from Montreal, which is where I live. My dad actually came to visit. I hadn't seen this man in like 12 years. Last time I saw him was 2011. So he recently got his permanent residency. So he took a trip here to uh, Canada, Montreal, just to kind of visit. We decided to book a cottage just to chill out, spend time with family, especially because we don't really get to see each other that often because I moved out of the household when I was 14, 15, and so did my brother. My brother is two years younger than me, so we don't really get to spend that much time with the fam. So um, now that we're all kind of in Canada, we really try to find time to just kind of spend time together. And it's actually quite interesting with African parents, just the older you get, the more that bond kind of just develops for the better, you know? Um, so yeah, I hadn't seen this guy in 12 years, man. So super happy. We drove here, it took, up us a, took us about an hour and 45 minutes. The location is perfect, man. I have a beautiful room. I'm gonna shoot a lot of content. You guys already know. I'm gonna be posting this on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. So if you don't follow me on there, definitely make sure to follow me. But I'm just thankful, man. I'm just thankful because, you know, coming here wasn't easy. Establishing myself here wasn't easy. Um, you know, just being able to kind of just um, be in a different environment and just thrive and not only just thrive but like really go after the things you want to do and and apply yourself and so that you can eventually start helping out your family start showing you know it, it was quite interesting because when we were in the car I was just kind of driving and thinking about the dynamic of you know when I used to take trips with my parents when I was young and just seeing my brother and I just you know on the in the front and our parents in the back and we're just kind of chatting and it kind of just gave me these crazy childhood memories but it's good man it's just really good to you know spend time with family and just you know be appreciative of everything that's happened in my life you know like especially with you guys being here like just being able to like vlog my life and just being able to kind of like go after the things that i've wanted to do whether it's like fashion fitness and you know it being lucrative and you know just being able to do all these things that I'm doing now and it's just you know I know for a fact that this you know expressing myself has definitely give, given me so much purpose and not only that but it's also just made me want to do more things with my life and just realize that everything is possible you know and just keep applying yourself keep being disciplined Beautiful morning out here, man. We really chose a great weekend to be in the woods, pretty much. Um, then I'm actually thinking of going for a little run. There's a couple hiking trails, and uh, yeah, you don't really know how much you need a break until you do it, and then you realize, damn, I really needed this. So feels good, man. Feels good. Woke up this morning, shot uh, bits of clips. Uh, obviously, this vlog that I'm working on right now, and I actually want to shoot some get ready with me. So it's still a pretty productive day and uh, uh, the, the good thing about uh, going on a, on a break or just going on a vacation weekend is when you create content, it's just such an opportunity to, you know, uh, shoot some new stuff, especially in a new location. And I think for me living uh, in uh, Montreal, sometimes I forget how important it is to always try to find new spaces to shoot in. Obviously like not a vacation home because that's always quite costly. I know that there are people in Montreal with studios that always hit me up and I should really take advantage of that. You know, uh, it's less costly and sometimes it's even for free, but yeah, I guess I just, I'm just stuck in my ways sometimes, you know, just shooting my own place, which I like, uh, but sometimes you need new spaces just to kind of um, have that creativity flowing and just be motivated to shoot as well because it's not always super motivating to like pump out content or even just like clothing in general like i'll get excited about an outfit that i want to shoot but, but because i'm home excuse me <coughs> excuse me but because i'm home i won't really you know feel the the energy man i would just kind of be like ah you know what i could do this tomorrow but i guess being in a new uh place 
uh, especially in a nice place like this, it kind of just motivates you to keep going and to just like keep shooting content and just keep doing whatever you want to do, you know? I uh, just came back from uh, a hike and as you guys know, I'm in week 11 of my uh, cut right now, so I'm almost done. So what I did is just so I don't skip my meals, I brought my meals with me. So I'm still kind of eating the same thing that I eat when I'm at home. So we have some tortillas, I have pepper, a little bit of chicken. So uh, I made this chicken last night, so I'm just gonna cut it up, have two, two tortillas and then uh, a protein shake and I should be good. Um, until tonight, we're gonna go out for dinner tonight. So I'll probably indulge just a little bit more. So I have my refeed days on Saturdays. So on Saturdays, I usually up my calories to 250. Actually, no, this week it's at 235 grams of carbs. So I can eat a little bit more carbs uh, on Saturday. So I'm gonna save those carbs for later in the evening. But yeah, uh, it's just to say that like, even if you're on holiday, if you have a sort of like goal that you wanna attain, it's definitely possible. If you can just pack the food that you wanna pack, it'll be much easier for you, you know? So this morning I woke up at 188.4 pounds, uh, which is great because last week I finished at 191. So I have about three, four weeks left. After that, I'm gonna sort of start um, strategizing my uh, refeed days, so upping my carbs, because it's not good. Like one thing that I did that was really bad last year was I stayed in a caloric deficit for way too long. and sometimes that crashes your metabolism and in general what ends up happening is you can pick up all that weight back up very very fast so what i'm gonna do this year is i'm gonna try to reverse diet slowly start upping my carbs and then from there uh, i do want to pick up a combat sport maybe uh, boxing or muay thai in this um in the fall or winter just to stay a little bit uh active in terms of my cardio so we'll see but so far it's been good honestly it's been a great cut as you guys know i started at 215 pounds so that's about a 27 pound drop which is amazing but it was all done by eating the same foods that i'm eating right now you know especially on weekends because on weekends is when you want to indulge and then just staying consistent so i'm gonna eat this relax for a bit edit this video probably and then i'll check in with you guys later going on guys so trip is finally done man feels so good i mean sometimes you don't even realize how much you need a break until you take you take initiative to get out of the city it's very relaxing man in the woods you know did some jacuzzi they had a sauna in there it was perfect uh it's monday today i took the day off just because we have to drive back it's around 8 30 right now and uh, we should be back in montreal at uh probably around 10 10 30 i'm gonna drop off the car then I got to hit the gym because I got to get back on my diet. Um, and I actually didn't step out of my diet too much this weekend. I pretty much kept the same calories, which I was happy about. Uh, I just didn't do any sort of cardio. We hiked just on Saturday and we didn't do that big of a hike. It was about like 5K. And uh, one good thing about um, Montreal here is that there are so many good cottages, especially around this time of the season, like spring and fall is some of the best, best cottage experiences you can have. So if you guys are looking to come into Canada, definitely don't sleep on Quebec, Montreal. 